I'm Elizabeth Cohn. I'm a junior and I go to UNC Chapel Hill and I did the May Mester in Florence with Florence University of the Arts. Why did you choose CIS abroad? I wanted to go abroad and I wanted to go abroad to Italy specifically and I knew I only had a short period of time to do so. I had an internship in the summer. I didn't want to give up a semester and so I was looking online for different May Mester opportunities and the CIS abroad one just kept popping up and so I read a little bit more about it. I was like okay this sounds perfect. I wanted to go to Tuscany and so Florence seems like a good fit and then I continued reading and it, it sounded like a great idea and it was so I'm very happy that I found it. What factors influence your decision to select this program? Again, trying to kind of find one in Italy specifically, and then one that I thought would transfer back to my home university. So trying to find courses that could count for my Italian major and even possibly my business major. I elected to choose the Italian major and focus on Florentine architecture. And so that was one that I was able to coordinate with my home university that I knew would transfer back. Can you give some tips on surviving the first two weeks on site? So I would definitely say make sure you bring a portable charger. That was a big one. My class at least was walking outside for three hours. And so I definitely need to have my phone charged because you have to walk through the class and then walk around the class and I'm taking notes on my phone. So you just want to make sure you have a portable charger. And then I would recommend using the Omeo app, O-M-I-O for train tickets because I was really concerned about having to get them validated and you don't have to do that at all with them. And they're also usually the cheapest pricing. What was your favorite class and why? I only took one class, but it was definitely my favorite because the teacher of it was super nice and it was Florentine architecture. So you would Monday through Friday, you would walk around the city and it'd be a different route each day, pointing out different buildings for whatever period of architecture we're looking at that time. And so for me, this was a really great way to do some hands-on learning. And when I was walking around the city by myself after class, I was able to point out buildings that we didn't see, but that I could recognize as being from that period. And so I felt it was a very helpful experience. How are your classes compared to classes in the U.S.? So I guess the biggest difference for me is my normal course in the U.S. would be somewhere between 50 minutes and an hour and 15. And so at first, the three hours was a bit daunting. I wasn't sure I was going to be able to make it through all of it. And I'm not really sure how my attention would last through it. And that was definitely not the case. I was very much focused. And I think that's partially because it had an experiential learning component of walking around. And you'd walk for 15 minutes, pointing things out along the way, and then you'd stop for about 30 minutes talking at that location and continue moving. So it was a very nice flow of class. And it wasn't like we used the whole three hours if we didn't have to. If we could do it all in two hours, that was great. Um, but I never really felt like I was struggling to, you know, get through those three hours. Can you tell us more about your housing and commute to school? So I was lucky enough to stay in the student hotel, which is on the outskirts of the city center. And Florence University of the Arts has multiple different locations. So it depends on what building your class is in. But for me, it was about a 30 minute walk, which might sound daunting, but it was really pretty because you got to walk past the Duomo and through most of the city center to get to the other side. And there was a girl in my class as well. So we'd walk together and chat and, you know, just stop at things along the way. So I thought it was a really good location because you're close enough to everything, but it also felt like you were in a safe area. And the student hotel itself has a lot of amenities. Like I use the gym every morning and has a beautiful view, same with the pool. So I thought that was a really nice area to be in. What was your favorite part of your program? I really liked the planned activities. So my favorite site director is Martina. Uh, I tried to go to everything that she was hosting. She was so nice. And we did so many different fun activities. Like we did, it was raining for the first week we were there. So we couldn't do some of the activities that we'd want to, but she found us a pizza restaurant. We got to try a bunch of different types of pizza and we went out for gelato and we went on like a little boat cruise on the river. And so just fun little things like that was nice to get to meet people in the program and then also connect more with the site directors. And so I really liked spending time like that. What was your favorite excursion? So my favorite one would probably be walking on the other side of the river in Florence and going up to the Piazzale Michelangelo, which has the best view of Florence, because it was a smaller group that day. Um, it rained already, so people had already bailed. And so we were able to stop and have an aperitivo on the way and kind of like taste the gelato and then walk up the hill. And she was telling us different facts about the different gardens and things along the way. And then it was a really pretty view and the rain had stopped by the time we got up to the Piazza Ali Michelangelo. Um, so it was really a great experience of getting to see the city. And then I also got to take some of my friends back there later because I knew how to get up there now um, instead of having to find an Uber to get up there. 
How did your on-site director impact your time abroad? I, I mean, I've already talked about uh, Martina, but I also love Romina too. Both of them were super helpful at answering questions. And they also gave us a My Maps kind of thing on WhatsApp. So they had made a map and pinned their favorite, say, restaurants, gelato, place to go look at art. So that was super helpful, obviously not having known a lot about Florence of where to go. And the place Martina took for gelato was my absolute favorite. They had lavender gelato. And so I went back my last day just to make sure I got it again. Um, but it was super helpful, you know, getting to an idea of, you know, where to go and where not to go. And if you had a place you really liked, you would tell them and they put it on there for the next time. So I thought that was super helpful. Can you share tips on transitioning from being on site to coming back home? Yeah, so I definitely was a bit sad. <laughs> I wish I could stay in Florence my whole time and stay with the awesome people. But I think for me, it was kind of just trying to get into a normal routine of back home because, you know, you're obviously going to want to go back at some point, um, but you can't think about it all the time. So just kind of trying to get into a normal transition. And I also started my internship uh, two days after I got back, so I didn't really have time to think about it that much. And I would honestly recommend just having something prepared for when you get back so you have something to look forward to, um, as well as not trying to dwell too much on, you know, missing Italy. What surprised you about your time abroad? I was surprised. So I went alone from my home university. I didn't know anyone that was going. And I was one surprised that there were three other UNC people there. And one of them ended up being my best friend on the trip. And so I think that for me was really nice of going out of my comfort zone and meeting new people, but not letting that scare you because once you're abroad, no one knows anyone. So it's a very open and welcoming scenario. And so I thought that it was super, I wasn't like scared at all to be by myself because I immediately clicked with these girls and found a good group of friends. And so I can um, say that I'm still friends with the girl that I met on the trip today. So that's super nice um, being able to bring that back to my home university as well.